Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my kitchen. I haven't done a video in here since the last time I did a World of Warcraft cookbook recipe, but today we're actually going to be making cookies using this little uh, gingerbread man, skeleton gingerbread man cookie cutter that I got in the Gothic Beauty Box that I did a video unboxing like a few weeks ago. I mentioned in that video how I wanted to do a video using the cookie cutter. I'm really excited because I don't usually make like cutout cookies. Um, I usually make like chocolate chip cookies uh, on the regular so the only other time that I've really ever done cutout cookies was at Derek's grandma's house but I have never actually personally done them myself so I'm pretty excited. I basically just thought that it would be fun to do. I got a little recipe. I don't want to make a ton of cookies because my husband and I had like a six month period where we made cookies like every week kind of like every time it was like Friday or Saturday we were like well let's make cookies and we just ate way too many cookies for like six months and then there was Christmas cookies and we are trying to purge ourselves of uh, being cookie fiends so I halved the recipe that I found online. Hopefully it'll make like at least like six or something like that but we'll see. I'm gonna have to cut these out on a flat surface which uh, the biggest thing I have is like a cutting board so we'll see how it goes. So let's get started. Future Brooke here interrupting my own video. I wanted to finally announce the winner of the Gothic Beauty Box. A few weeks ago I did a video unboxing a Gothic Beauty Box and said that there would be one lucky winner who would get their own Gothic Beauty Box. So you might be wondering why I'm wearing this hat and there is a particular reason. So basically I hand wrote down all the names of all the entrants and cut them out so that I can put them into this hat and shake it around. I'm very old school with my giveaways. I love to do it this way. So I'm really nervous, but really, really excited. I am not gonna look and I'm going to mix them up super, super well. Um, I wanted to say thank you so much to everyone who entered. It was really fun reading all the comments and seeing what stuff you guys liked. So, okay, here we go. All right, let me see. Okay, here it is. This is the winner, uh, Amber C. Let me show you guys. Amber C. So I basically wrote down everyone's like first name and then their last initial. So whoever Amber C is, what I want you to do is to email. I'll put their email in right here and send them an email from the email that you downloaded the Gothic Beauty Box digital magazine with and just basically put on the subject line like Lady Survival Gothic Beauty Box giveaway winner or something kind of like that so they know the subject line. I will basically tell them to keep an eye out for your email so that they know that it's coming and from there they can go about collecting all of your info. I would assume that they'll probably ask for like your shipping info and stuff unless they want to do it by giving you a code to just get the box for free. I'm not sure how they'll do it. But yeah, congratulations again to Amber C and thank you so much to everyone for entering. I had a lot of fun doing this. Anyways, back to my cookie video. Let me uh, move you guys a little bit closer and adjust so that we can see more of what is going on here and now you guys can see my outfit. I am obsessed with this outfit. I wore it yesterday when I streamed on Twitch and I was like, I'm putting it on again today because it's just dope with the belt and the cool bodysuit and I just felt really, really cool. So that was the cookie making outfit for today. Um, this is obviously not turned on, the stove is fine. Let me grab all of our other stuff quick. Okay. So I got all the ingredients out. We have our butter, uh, sugar, egg, vanilla, and flour, so pretty easy recipe. And I really hope it works. I low-key asked ChatGPT for the recipe because all the ones that I found online said that I would have to like chill the dough for two hours and I was like, I don't got time for that. It's like nine o'clock, almost 10 o'clock at night. I don't feel like chilling the dough. So the first step is our softened butter, which I pulled out a while ago. It seems to be pretty soft. Uh, it's pretty warm in the house right now, so it's definitely soft butter. Hell yeah. And then I'm also going to preheat the oven to 350. And the next thing is half a cup of sugar. I don't have like a handheld mixer thing, and I mean, I don't really think you need one that badly. I'm just gonna mix this together with a spoon or maybe a fork, but we'll just see how far we can get it with a spoon. Ta-da! See, it's fine, it's working. It just took a little bit of time. All right, next is our egg. I always suck at cracking eggs, but uh, 
no shells, so we're good. I'm like so excited to have cookies again because like I was saying, my husband and I used to do this like at least once a week, but usually like chocolate chip cookies or brookies where it's like half brownie, half, half chocolate chip cookies. And we have gone maybe like a month now without eating any cookies. So I'm like really excited. Okay, next thing is a teaspoon of vanilla. I am actually opening a fresh thing of vanilla. So hopefully I can get this stupid little thing off. Boom. One teaspoon. This is a teaspoon, right? Yeah, one teaspoon. Oh my gosh. Haha. <laughs> it is uh, getting somewhere. It's starting to look like cookie dough. Next is the flour. Woo! So the next thing is we need uh, one and a half cups of flour. I'm going to use this half cup and just do it three times so I can like gradually add it in. One. It is definitely getting more thick. We just need one more uh, half a cup, then we'll be at that one and a half cup mark. Are you guys like me and like I will eat cookie dough? Like I don't care if there's egg. I know it's so bad, but it's so good. Here's our final half cup. Okay. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more flour. I feel like it's still kind of like wet and it said that I could add a little bit more if I feel like it needs it. Whoops, <laughs> I just spilled a bunch of flour. All right, I'm gonna start the process of trying to lay down the cookie dough to cut it out, but I don't have like a rolling pin, so we're gonna just have to improvise and just maybe squish it down with like our hands. Um, I'm gonna put some flour down, spread that out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start with this and see what we can do. It still feels like kind of wet-ish. Maybe I'll try to flip it over. Yeah, because we got like some flour on here. Let me try to get the rest of this out. So add a little bit more flour. I feel like it's definitely kind of wet still, so I'll just kind of work that in here. Right, I'm gonna use, I have this like mini cutting board that I'm gonna use as like a little thing to like press it down here. Okay, so I know this is not the most like beautiful thing ever, but let's try to make our first little cookie. Uh, we are just gonna press them down right here. Oh my God. I hope it works. <laughs> okay, make sure he's cut out. Oh my God, did it work? <gasps> I think it worked, okay. Uh, I guess let's do another one, right? Like you're supposed to kind of like try to get as many as we can here. Okay, let's try right there. Hey, maybe we'll only get like four of them. We'll see. Stuck. Oh my God, I hope that it'll come out of there okay. All right, here's our next one. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is pull all of this excess. It feels kind of like wet over here. I guess that not all of it uh, <laughs> worked really well. Here, let's move this over here. Oh my God. Oh no. So I think what's happening is my dough was still too wet it might need more flour, maybe? I don't know, we might just see how this works. All right, don't hate me for this, but we're gonna try again. It's too wet. <laughs> Round two, let's try to get some more flour on here. So the first attempt was a fail, so let's try again and see if it works. Okay, let's do another one over here. Okay, and then one more. Right here. Let's see. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. So we got our little guys. Now I'm supposed to use this like imprint thing and try to imprint it. I've never done this before, so I hope that it works. I don't know how hard to push down. Oh my god, it worked! Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay, that is really cool. All right, let's try it again. I think I can push a little harder. 
Not like hardcore, but uh... Yeah! Oh my god, it's so cute! Okay, here we go. Oh god, I hope I didn't... Okay, he got a little bit smushed. Here, let me show you this. Oh my god, they're so cute! I love them! So, now I just have to uh, safely transfer... Oh my god, it worked! Okay, here we go. Let's transfer the next guy. Oh my god, little guy! Okay, and one more. Oh my god, this is so scary. No! Okay, hold on. Boom. Okay, oh my god. <laughs> They're so cute, you guys. Look at them! So I'm gonna try something. I bought food coloring and I kind of forgot about it until right now, but I'm gonna try to add some red and blue, like just a drop to try to make purple ones for the rest of them to see if it'll work. And I wish that I remembered, but I forgot. So let's try it. A drop, oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, there's some red, there's some blue, just a drop. Uh. <laughs> what have I done? Oh my God. Try to add a drop of red. Babe, I've created something bad. I tried to add red and blue food coloring to the dough um, because I was trying to make purple. But I guess it doesn't work on dough. Oh no. <laughs> I've made like a gray cookie. Hey, that's a bone. That's perfect. You made bone color. Oh my god. You have but skeletons. It's, but it's red. He has bloody bone character. <laughs> or bloody bones. Perfect. You'd be all like, be all like, all right, well, it's taken a mind of its own, and we've got some bloody bone skeletons. It's vampire style now. Think of it as the bloodborne skeletons. When do you see a purple skeleton anyway? I want a purple one. Oh my god. How do I do it? All right, so I have created um, something horrifying. I don't know what this is. Um, basically, the food coloring kind of went horribly wrong, but I mean, it kind of worked. I almost threw it. It looks like a, like a heart right now. Like, it looks very, like, I don't even know. It's like a gray, purple, but like kind of red. But overall, it didn't really work, but we're going to use it anyways. I wanted to try. I feel like I could keep trying to fix it by adding more food coloring, but I just don't really want to. So we're just going to settle for this weird gray purple blob. Okay, let's start with this one guy. Okay, and then let's give him his bones. Transfer. Oh no, he's kind of sticky. Oh no. This guy over a little bit. Oh my god. Okay. really know what I've created but it, it's a thing it's a thing I think this one is maybe the best maybe this one this one got a little weird he got a little bit smushed so here's the cookies I just made like three flat ones because I just had a few uh, things left over but we're gonna try to bake it and I'm, I'm very scared that it's just gonna expand but we'll see let's see So while those are baking, there's still like four minutes left. Um, my husband and I bought this. We were going to make cookies on Valentine's Day, but then we didn't. But I bought some like pink frosting and I want to try to put it into a baggie so I can like squeeze it out by cutting the corner. Don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. So I wanted to share the process. Oh my God. It smells so weird. It smells like sweet strawberry Play-Doh. What the hell? Okay. Interesting. I don't know if I'm going to put this on all of them because I feel like it's weird, but let's try it anyways. Basically, we're just going to plop it here. 
Okay. And then I'm gonna cut like a teeny tiny hole in the corner, boom. Do you guys see that? It's like a teeny, teeny, tiny hole. And I'm not gonna do it yet, but once the cookies are out, I'm just gonna try to push it all to the corner and see what happens. I, uh, I peeked into the oven and like, I mean, they're fine. It's not like they're expanding, but it's just making me laugh. Like just looking at them. Like, I know that you're probably not supposed to open the oven while it's cooking, but I don't care. Let me show you. I don't know why it's just funny. Like just seeing them in there is just funny. And like, they maybe expanded like a little bit. So, uh, yeah, but it's almost done. Oh my God, it's almost done. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> what have I created? You guys, they like turned out like lighter. You know, like they lightened up a little bit and they're weird and ugly. And I think I did a horrible job. These guys are demented. Oh my God, what the hell? What went wrong? What went wrong, hun? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna assume that these have to cool a little bit. Uh, they're definitely ugly, you know? They're not that aesthetically pleasing. That's probably because I suck. Um, here's one of my like weird little, I was so like, this took me forever. At the end, I was like, I'm just gonna throw these down however, but let's try it. Okay, they need to cook a little bit more, I would say. Not fully cooked yet, not crunchy at all. Let's put them back in. I literally suck at this. I'm so sorry if this video was a uh, massive fail, massive uh, letdown. I'm all like, but we're gonna make super cute skeletal gingerbread cookies with this cookie cutter that I got and uh, leave it to me to mess it up. I'm not good at this stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I just pulled the cookies out. I let them go for another like five minutes and I feel like they're okay. Once they cool, I think that they're good. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Oh my god. Look at him. He's so weird. Okay, and then this one. All right. There we go. <laughs> These guys are BFFs. They're like holding hands because they love each other. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna be honest. I am way too uh, impatient to wait for this to cool. So uh, we're just gonna... Let's do the purple one first. Oh my god, is it working? Ha ha, it's working! Oh my god, it's gonna be so ugly though. And it'll probably just melt. Hey, you got your purple! <laughs> I mean, kind of! That's yeah, purple. You think it's good? Yeah, well, I mean, it's Do you think that my icing is good? Yeah. You think I'm doing a good job? Pink and purple. It's, uh, I think the first one turned out shitty because, uh... You got more in there? No, this is it. <laughs> oh shit. Is that supposed to be a heart? Um, no, it's just leftover, uh, random shit. This one's turning out better because it was, like, melting on the first one. Because I didn't wait. Are you laughing at my guys? Mm -hmm. You don't like my guys? It, it would look better with the, with the red and... Okay, this was the best I could do. It's not pretty, but it's a thing. Okay, it's a thing. Uh, truly, this is the end. This is the very best that I could do. I laid them all out on a plate, but they're not that pretty, and this guy... Uh, got beheaded unfortunately, but yeah, there is my little plate of cookies. I am not bothering to put icing on all of them. One, because it would take forever. Two, the icing kind of tastes weird and I don't really want it on all of them. So yeah. So yeah, this is the, this is the cookies. They are probably the most not aesthetically pleasing cookies that you have probably ever seen in your whole entire life. And, uh, I probably messed them up by um, adding flour, but they were like too wet. Hold on, this guy is having a rough time. Like his his uh, his head is just off, and his arm is breaking off of his body. So yeah, this was probably a flop, but uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna try. Let's try the first bite of the frosted one. Hell yeah! It tastes like a Pop-Tart. The frosting literally made it taste like a Pop-Tart. And that's pretty bomb. Uh, just for fun, because I have some more left, let me just like cover this guy, just to like fully, uh, kind of just like frost a cookie. And I'm curious, this is, uh, this is the guy's head. I'm curious what it tastes like. 
like a pop tart if i put sprinkles on it pop tart all right anyways that's all that i've got for you guys i hope that you enjoyed again uh here is the final results that we got with the cookies thanks for hanging out with me hope that you enjoyed and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye